Why, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to yet another G Ultimate General Gettysburg battle. Now, what I'm actually going to try to attempt here is one of the historical scenarios available in the game. That is something that actually happened during the real Battle of Gettysburg. Um, yesterday, our army won a great victory. Our men are in high spirits. Contrasting Yankees are drained from the battle, and the rest of their army is tired due to marching quickly to arrive on time. We have to finish the job now. Two divisions of the first at your disposal. Our mission is to attack and crush the left flank of the Yankees defended by the Third Corps. Um, this morning, these guys advanced from Cemetery Ridge to Edinburgh Road, and they are now in an exposed position. If the enemy reinforces the position, elements of the Third Corps will be sent to you. Good luck, General. So here we go, guys. All right, so this is quite interesting. Now, in every other sp particular scenario, I did this battle as the Union, guys. And the reason that I think that it's going to be extremely tough as the Confederacy, I want to show you guys some of the victory points I'm going to have to take. We're going to have to take Little Round Top uh, up here. We're going to have to take Big Round Top over here. Um, we also have this victory point over here that's probably going to be a pain in the ass, as well as the 1,000 victory point over by these farms. But really, the Little and Big Round Top areas are the ones we are actually going for. First thing I want to do is set up this artillery, guys, on top of this hill uh, so that we have a good artillery position to support our men. And right now, it looks like we only have about three divisions. Benning, Robertson, okay, we got Law 2. Uh, what I'm going to do is move every single one of the guys to the foot of Little Round Top. In fact, I'm going to move them over here by Bushman's Farm first to sort of get set up uh, in preparation for the assault. Because we are definitely going to have to do an assault if we hope to take this hill. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look over here. Apparently, we also have some more artillery coming. That's never, never a painful at all or never a problem. Um, we can move these guys Latham. We can actually move on top of this hill over here. I'd really love to get more reinforcements, but it seems like right now that's going to be really tough. And right now we know the Union has to cure a little round top. Um, we can actually see their blue victory point sign over there. So we want to be careful. Our men are moving into battle pretty calmly. I don't want to excite them. I just want them to be very fresh for the assault up that hill because I hate to say it, but we're about to lose a lot of men here. A lot of Confederates are about to be killed. Um, and our only hope is to break through there at Little Round Top, which, if you think about it, if you guys know anything about the Battle of Gettysburg, was, I wouldn't say impossible, but quite difficult. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move forward here. And at this point, I know I said I wasn't going to run, but at this point I am going to go ahead and run to get into position. Uh, we'll have Log it up on this hill over here. And in fact, if I can move Latham onto this hill, I don't know if I can because that's a bit close to the enemy, uh, that may be even more helpful. So we'll go ahead and get moving. All right, here we go, guys. Everybody is moving up the hill, little round top. So far, we haven't engaged any enemies. We haven't seen any enemies. Um, we want to at least get to big round top, and if we could contest big round top and get a position there, that would be great. Okay, guys, first unit of U.S. sharpshooters here, the second U.S. sharpshooters. Uh, these guys don't have a lot of men in their, in their brigade, obviously, but they can put a lot of damage down on us. Um, and they're really opening fire there with pretty selective fire. Uh, they're going to go ahead and pull back. And what I want to do is just make sure that all of these men are going towards Big Round Top here, um, and eventually, if we take this, we can move on to Little Round Top. Let's go ahead and get some of these cannons a little farther out, maybe out here. And there we go, those sharpshooters seem to be the only thing the enemy has. Anderson has stopped here on this side of the river to open fire, I don't like that, I really wish he would just keep moving. Um, and we even have more U.S. sharpshooters over here on the left flank, but like I said, if we get some cover here in the woods, we should be alright. Um, unfortunately, it looks like those sharpshooters will be taking Big Round Top, setting up a defensive position here. But I'm not sure if they can withstand 1,800 men, um, as well as all these brigades down here. So we're just going to keep on moving, keep on doing what we're doing. Let's bring Moody up. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, we have some brigades. It does seem that we are getting on top of the hill. I really want to crest this hill as best as I can. Um, we'll go ahead and get these guys to start running. Oh, they're running already. Because um, we want to be able to be parallel to these enemy troops here. And we want to be able to open fire downhill on them. Uh, so let's go ahead and aim at Ward. Hopefully this brigade will know what to do. You can see this is a pretty confusing hill to be on. So everybody's kind of getting into position uh, uh, very slowly. And we're actually being a charge. Wow. There's actually a charge on us. Unbelievable. By Ward. We're going to follow that charge with a charge of our own, guys. We're going to go ahead and we are going to try to take this hill. We'll not let them take uh, Round Top. We can't let them take this hill at all. Um, we're going to go ahead and charge right into Ward here. Robertson, why aren't you charging too? Uh, Benning seems to have pushed him off, I believe, but just to make sure, we'll send Robertson in there as well. Uh, go, Robertson! Wow! We've got the Yankees on the run, I believe. Um, and we even have this other brigade law, which we can move up as well. 
There we go, guys. We're pushing them back. At this point, I'm going to halt. Um, we have the position we want, and we could start opening fire on the Union. As long as we can take the position here of Round Top, we're going to be in a pretty good position. Uh, despite our lack of men, we definitely don't have as many men on the field right now. There we go. Ward is still pushing back, guys. We're going to move up. A lot of artillery damage coming in, but managed to take uh, Round Top, or are taking it, I should say. Um, I don't want to count my eggs before they're in my basket. Uh, let's move up here. Yes, so we're going to go ahead and move Law. Uh, at this point, I do want to launch an assault on Little Round Top as well. So we're going to move Robertson up here to the south. Uh, Benning's already starting to open fire on them, which is pretty awesome. Um, and in fact, we can start to engage the U.S. sharpshooters over here. Uh, let's move Anderson up. Anderson was really badly damaged there by that Union charge, and uh, I don't understand why, because it happened so quickly, and it didn't seem to be, have that much momentum. Uh, but I guess it had more than we expected. And there we go, guys. Wow, we've got the enemy off Little Round Top. We're going to move up there immediately. We're going to take Law here to go ahead and secure Round Top. In fact, if we could just have two divisions in these general areas for the rest of the battle, things are going to go really well for us. Um, I'm even going to try, even though this is going to take quite a while, I'm trying to move these uh, cannons here. And the reason it's going to take quite a while, you can see the cannons have to move through all this brush uh, across this little river. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not easy to do. Okay, here we go, guys. Taking the position here. I'm going to go ahead and turn, bending around here so we can at least engage the sharpshooters that are shooting at us. Um, I don't want to just be shot at without any retaliation at all. So we probably want to go ahead and open fire on them. All right, and we'll bring Robertson up to deal with Smith's artillery. There we go. We're already firing on the U.S. sharpshooters. One down, but uh, it's pretty hard to hit these guys. They definitely have range advantage on us. Um, but we have a pretty good position here uh, if we just stay put. Wow, is this guy, is Anderson still losing his effing mind? Come on, man. Uh, just move up, please. Uh, it's really weird because Anderson's morale is fine. His condition is awful. Um, it's almost like the men have just been drinking all night and uh, not not really training for battle. We'll go ahead and move up. Uh, Benning here, keep firing on the U.S. sharpshooters at Devil's Den. Right now, the Union has a tremendous amount of men up here, and I don't know what they're thinking. I think they're, they're expecting a northern attack or northern assault, um, and that's not really what I'm going for. Uh, but we, if they hold Cemetery Ridge and they hold this uh, victory point over here by the Peach Orchard, they may still be able to win the battle. So we really do want to eventually press our attack, but for now, we're just going to get these guys into position. Uh, let's actually move Law up here to join uh, Robertson and Benning. Uh, Round Top will sort of be our location for our reinforcements. How's about that? And we'll try to get Gilbert on Shell Shot uh, to deal with these U.S. sharpshooters. That canister would be better. No, that's a bit too, a bit too far away. So we'll go for shell shot. And here we go, guys. Uh, Robertson is still firing on that artillery division. Unfortunately, oh boy, <laughs> we've got some friends coming. Um, you guys can see Vincent and Schweitzer's brigade are moving in from the east. Um, and I definitely want to go ahead and retake positions. Um, go ahead and take better positions here, I should say. Um, for this oncoming assault by the enemy. Now, I think if we can create a sort of V-shaped defensive line here, things are going to go a lot better for us. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get Law into place without having to move Robertson or Benning. Um, and right now, we'll just keep Anderson here basically just resting. Um, we'll just have him halt and rest. Um, in fact, we will go ahead and I want to open up on Ward, but it doesn't seem to be in the card. So we'll go ahead and switch over to Schweitzer, guys. And I want to see if we have any generals here uh, that can give our guys some sort of morale boost. I don't see any. Um, oh, wow. I missed this. Really missed that. Um, total fail on my part. So we could be launching an attack over here on these guys. And that's exactly what we're going to do at the Peach Orchard. I did not even see these guys in the north. Um, we are going to take our first core. And I'm actually going to bring my first core to support these guys at the uh, little round top area. Um, we're going to go ahead and see how this works. I was wondering why those guys were all prepared for an assault there, but I actually think that that was timed out properly. Um, I think it's better to go ahead and start one assault, so they start focusing a lot of men over here, and then we can bring these guys in to crush the flanks. As you can see, they're bringing guys over here to try to deal with the assault. We're going to try to move up really quickly and engage them. Uh, see if Kershaw can engage Graham, and maybe Barksdale can engage him as well. Alright guys, so far it seems that we are holding a little round top. We've got Schweitzer here at the bottom. Uh, Robertson here at the top, doing a pretty good job. I wish these guys would open fire, though. There we go. Beautiful. So, so far, I think our position here is wonderful. Uh, Ward is moving up to Devil's Den, which does worry me. They seem to be putting a lot of guys down here, uh, maybe to try to flank us, actually. So, I want to try to make these guys uh, get there as quickly as possible. Uh, Detrobriand is coming on pretty strong. We'll go ahead and switch to Canister Shot. 
Uh, and with Riley, we will. Well, we're already on shell shot, so we'll just focus fire under Trobrand. And there we go, guys. Wow, charge of the Union for sure. Um, we seem to be holding in the north just fine. The Union is charging all of our artillery positions. That's a bit annoying. Um, let's go ahead and switch to shell shot. Uh, we'll even bring Kershaw up, and thankfully Graham has gone ahead and run off the field. You guys can see over here by P. Schneider's farm, we killed a ton of federal troops. Um, but nonetheless, they are still pushing down here by Devil's Den, and I don't like that. So I want to go ahead and start dealing with these guys. Um, yeah, Kershaw, keep the fire up. Why not, man? Uh, we'll go ahead and open here on Brewster. And really, I just want to take the Peach Orchard. I'm not going to be assaulting for too many positions here. What I'm going to be doing is taking positions and holding them. Uh, that's really my main concern. And right now, this guy, Detrobrian, is giving us a hell of a, dam a lot of damage on our artillery units. Um, so we definitely want to go ahead and deal with them. But I think first we can fire on Ward um, and stop that flank before it happens. Although at the same time, Anderson seems to have things pretty much under control here. You can see uh, he's doing a lot better now. His unit's doing a lot better. Uh, can open fire now. Stop, run, it's just open fire. <laughs> they, they keep trying to get the perfect aim down, but I think at this point, there we go, wonderful. So we did give uh, Ward's troops something to worry about. They definitely had to run. Um, we'll go ahead and move Kershaw over here. We'll try to flank um, Detrobrand's brigade, and I want to make sure that our little round-top division is holding. All right, we should take Anderson eventually here and move him off to, to help these men. Okay, awesome, guys. We are winning at the Peach Order. We're holding with a guy named Sems. I'm not actually familiar with him. Uh, but he seems to be holding, although I don't know how long we can actually hold this Peach Orchard area. Uh, especially only with two brigades versus, I think, three to four uh, fully staffed Union brigades. So we need to be very careful here. Um, but at least we're pushing Ward back. That was my real objective. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get K Kershaw to go ahead and deal with Dertro Rand. And this is going to be a shot from the back. So unless they turn uh, just in time, this will probably do a little bit more damage, if I'm not mistaken. And here we go, opening fire, Kershaw into Detrobrand's back, wonderful. Uh, some of his men are already moving, they don't like that continuous fire. Um, let's go ahead and just keep the fire up. If we could just scare the hell out of these guys, um, and just do a lot of damage to them, we should be alright. Keep moving up, and just keep harassing, really. Alright, we can actually move over here to this wheat field, maybe open up some fire on the enemy. Wow, look how that happened. So see guys what I was talking about, um, the enemy actually did try to charge us there. Uh, it was a failed charge. Uh, Sems actually managed to hold, but now Burling has actually passed us. So I'm going to go ahead and get Sems to open up on their artillery units, and we will engage these guys over here. As you can see, a lot of Confederate dead on this northern part of the battlefield. Um, but that's probably because of the tremendous Union artillery support that they're getting. Um, over here to just blow us to bits. Um, and okay, Barksdale is almost at Devil's Den. That's where I wanted him. Um, I don't know what 3rd Corps is doing over here, that's weird, and uh, I kind of feel like with Kershaw we should just charge, in fact that's what we're going to do guys, we're going to go ahead and take Kershaw and charge right into Dur 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 Trobrian's brigade, uh, I don't want these guys harassing our men in the future, it's not going to help us win this battle, and it's really just going to be a detriment to us altogether. So here we go, guys. Detrobrian, wow! Yes, I think we're doing pretty well on the charge. You guys can see his numbers are falling pretty significantly. Uh, and we're just going to keep that charge up, although it is a real pain uh, to have Kershaw's unit kind of off the field focusing on something they shouldn't be focusing on, which is some silly enemy brigade. Uh, we should be focusing on a brigade over by Little Round Top, not some guy that's behind our lines here. So we're going to go ahead and take Kershaw here and move him towards Little Round Top. We'll take Anderson to support Law and Rock. Robertson here, because they're eventually going to break. Although, unbelievably, you guys can take a look here, we've put up an unbelievable hold um, on Little Round Top here as the Confederacy. Um, and uh, that's pretty impressive. So right now, we're just going to keep our positions. I am tempted to bring Robertson here. In fact, I think I will, to support uh, Law in fighting Vincent. Um, we'll go ahead and bring this guy right there. Alright, we can start opening fire on Graham in the wheat field. I don't know why these guys didn't do that already. Um, and it seems they finally pushed us back here. That was kind of to be expected, um, unfortunately. Because we just didn't have quite enough reinforcements here. But now we're getting Perry, uh, we're getting uh, Wilcox, etc. We're going to move these guys down and hopefully uh, take the Peach Orchard anyway. So let's see how that works. And we'll go ahead and get Fraser to do canister shot. Wait a minute. Wonderful. So there we go, guys. We've got uh, Burling's division in a nice little crossfire here, kind of stuck in uh, in this gorge area, which isn't so bad. I don't know what Sems is doing, but maybe we can actually get him to focus on Burling. Why not? Now we should switch over back to Ward. 
Alright guys, so up here in the north, Robertson seems to be doing pretty well, helping out law, uh, hold this position here. Um, and we are opening fire here at the weed field, and for me, the weed field is the finest area to open fire on. Um, really easy to spot enemies, and uh, just not a good place to be if you are uh, attacking, or just stationary, really. So we're just going to keep this assault in the north going, guys. Uh, we have managed to make Burling's unit retreat once again. They're going to probably reform over here, but I like the amount of dead men we left in what they thought was a very safe... Uh, uh, what's this? What is this? Warden's Ridge? I can't see it. War... I'll figure it out when they pass. Um, but anyway, we'll go ahead and bring Wilcox down. And I'm actually going to bring him over here to this hill area. This is actually a hill. You guys can see what Sems is standing on. Um, and I definitely think the game needs to do elevation better, but I can tell because you see a slope behind them. Uh, and as you can see, just from being on that hill, we got a great uh, offensive bonus, and Ward is running. Uh, I want to get Wilcox into this wooded area as soon as possible. But so far, these guys are doing great, and really my goal is to break through with all these guys up here, uh, break through to our guys on Little Round Top, and at that point, I know we're going to be perfectly okay. Although so far, we're doing pretty good. Um, let's move Benning up here. I don't want to count our blessings yet because we do have a lot more enemies coming, but look at all those Union dead. You got to give it to Law um, and also to Robertson. We'll go ahead and open fire here on Day, and we can even get Law to move up and start shooting at their artillery. Uh, I really think artillery should be a lot easier to kill here. You guys can see Law is a true hero of the Confederacy. Just look at all the men he's lost defending this hill, guys, and not one retreat. So I have a lot of respect uh, for Law there. All right, here we go. We're, we may be taking back the Peach Orchard. We're going to go ahead and move up with Wolford. We'll move up with the right. Uh, Mahone, one of my favorite generals, uh, we'll move up with him as well. And also with Posey. And things seem to be going absolutely wonderful for us at this point. Um, if we could just secure these, uh, these positions before the end of the battle, of course. All right, here we go. Just gonna keep opening fire on the sharpshooters. No, Benny, don't go into the weak field. That's bad. Okay, we'll get uh, Robertson to focus here on the Burbank. Uh, Benning can open fire here on this artillery division and really just put pressure on the enemy, try to get them stuck. As you can see, most of these enemy units here are pretty trapped, um, kind of in this circle. So we want to go ahead and push that advantage. Um, a lot of men dead on both sides over here, but we're doing well. We've got to keep it up. We're going to take that Peach Orchard back. Let's go ahead and move Wilcox up. Even if these guys are tired and not ready to fight, I don't care. Um, I know that sounds really harsh, but I want these guys to continue the, att continue the attack um, no matter what the loss of men. I would give that same order if I was the general on this day. Uh, because at this point, the battle rests on us securing these positions. And we've lost so many men holding them, um, but we've, we've held our ground, so that's pretty awesome. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and refocus fire on Day uh, with Law as well. Because he's got about 1,500 men, he's pretty fresh. And I don't want him having that many men or being that confident if he starts charging up the hill here. Look at those sharpshooters. <laughs> those poor U.S. sharpshooters. There's like 30 of them, but there's going to be none of them left soon. That's it. We finished off the U.S. sharpshooters division. Utterly annihilated them. Um, I can't say that I'm not happy. That was pretty well done. Um, but they've kind of been harassing us the entire battle, so I expected that to happen. Most of my skirmisher divisions, whether or not I play as Union or Confederacy, don't last till the end of the battle. Um, you know, I had one that lasted till day two, and I was absolutely amazed. Um, let's go ahead and move Patterson up. Wow, look at that, guys. So we are continuing that assault. The Union seems to be pretty much in disarray, although they do have this secondary defense line over here by Cemetery Ridge, which I don't think that I have an ability to take this battle, um, especially since my main focus is going to be defense. We'll go ahead and stay here just in case the enemy gets smart with your Trobriand. And let's continue here with Barksteel. In fact, we could start opening fire here on Kelly. Um, let's have Sem's charge. At this point, the reason I'm going to charge on Kelly is I really think that we could uh, take him out uh, without any difficulty, really, at all. We out outnumber him in men, uh, numbers, etc. So unless he's pretty confident, he should be. We should be able to make a move. Let's go ahead. and Wilcox get to the Rose Woods. We've definitely taken back the Peach Orchard, guys. So that's awesome. Just keep the assault up. I'm de I really do want to send one of these guys um, over to Little Round Top, but, um, and this is a big but, just traversing this ground right now isn't exactly safe. Um, I may send Barksdale there eventually, but at this point, I'm more concerned with just uh, keeping the pressure on the enemy. Although, if we can push them all the way to Seminary Ridge, or Cemetery Ridge, excuse me, uh, that would be pretty awesome. 
And there we go, guys. And Law is standing there. Unbelievable. This guy should be Longstreet, because he really is like a stone wall at this point, um, holding this position. We've got First Corps here, uh, General James Longstreet. Oh, it is General James Longstreet. That's why. Uh, okay, more Federals from the Fifth Corps come as reinforcements. Damn, the Yankees have more troops in the area than expected. That's not something we wanted to hear, guys. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try to do our best anyway. Um, we do have Longstreet here holding this line, and no wonder we have so many men uh, willing to die here to stay put. I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring Benning over here to the east to take Law's position. I think it's about we relieve Law. But then again, if he's fighting that well, you know, why stop what's working? Uh, let's go ahead and move up. So yes, we do have Federals from the 5th Corps coming. That's not good. You can see a huge, ar huge army of McCandless. Um, it's going to be pretty tough to hold here. You have to get ready. Um, and I think what I want to do is move... Wow, you little bastard. Detrobian actually tried to charge. Um, we're not going to charge back. We're just going to hold our position. But that definitely means that we can't uh, let that area unguarded. Leave that area unguarded, excuse me. So actually, I think we can go ahead and bring Sems up. Uh, Wilcox seems to be holding these guys pretty well. We'll actually bring Posey over here uh, on a run to sort of close these guys in a sort of uh, circle. Just been trying to close them in a circle, and when you do this, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, the problem is that my men love to follow the enemy, so we want to, we have to tell them to stop. There's really no point to follow them at this point. We really just need to hold our positions. Wow. A lot of artillery fire there, and they're going to push two more ripe new divisions, guys, Fisher and McCandless, against our line here with Law. Uh, I'm not feeling very confident about that, I'll be absolutely honest with you. So I'm going to move Barksdale here as soon as I can. Kelly's still going. That guy is nuts. So Kelly is still opening fire on us. Um, we'll go ahead and get the canister shot going on him. And uh, at this point, all we really need to worry about is Dertrobrand here trying to take little round top. But it is irritating. It leaves Kershaw unable to move. It, may, it forces us to have to stay there and deal with him. And uh, as you guys can see, Fisher and McCandless here are going to give us a lot of trouble. Um, they very well could break through. So we want to make sure that we have guys here to reinforce these already wavering uh, infantry divisions. In fact, we'll bring Sems up over here as well. Um, and Wofford will keep moving up. Mahone is in a good place. Wright's in a good place. Really just holding this line. And every time the Union sends any troops along this small creek, you guys can see they get absolutely massacred. So we're not too concerned about taking Cemetery Ridge, this, uh, this battle at all. Um, in fact, I think it would be a big mistake. Halt! No, halt, 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 halt. Robertson has to halt, too. I uh, want him to open fire here on today. I don't know what they're running at. Uh, they must be running at Graham's division, getting a little excited there. Um, we'll go ahead and get Barksdale here into position. Or we could also, this is another option, um, we don't necessarily have to reinforce these positions. We could just form a second defensive line. And there we go, guys. Hey, he couldn't hold on for the whole battle, but he did an unbelievable job. Uh, Brigadier General Evander M. Law um, absolutely held his ground. You could see almost his entire brigade was killed in this battle or wounded. Um, obviously, in this game, they don't seem to differentiate between killed and wounded. They just have casualties. Uh, but obviously there always seems to be more wounded than killed. Uh, so I would guess a lot of men going home without legs there. Um, we're going to go ahead and move Walford up here as well. And let's actually get Patterson here to kind of harass these guys. I, 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 don't, I can't believe I didn't think of this before. Uh, but we can get some of these cannons over here. We can actually move this general here and um, just kind of open fire on them. Just give them a little bit of a taste of their own medicine. Because they have been bombing us the entire uh, game, really. All right, Barksdale, you should have a better position at this point. Um, you should be focusing on the canvas. We can leave Law back here to sort of just get reinforced. And you can tell the guy has an unbelievable will to fight, because even with 773 men, his condition is still rising very quickly. I don't know if that's because Longstreet is right behind him. That may, be, that may play a role, for sure. Um, okay, here we go, guys. The attack con continues, and we're still keeping that eastern assault. Move Posey up here to take this gap here in front of the wheat field. Oh, you guys do know my aversion to wheat fields. I'm not a fan. <laughs> All right, we've got Graham moving back. Um, you can see this is a very strong double line here. We've got Burling, Carr, Brewster, Brook, and Zook. Um, if these guys start moving, in fact, this isn't the first line. The second line is over here, Cross, Hall, Webb, and Thompson on artillery. So um, a really, really tough area to break through there. Um, at this point, I think we should probably focus everyone down to Little Round Top and just try to hold this southern flank. That's the real, um, the real idea here uh, in securing victory in this battle. The Peach Orchard is really ours. There's just no doubt about it. Um, we don't have to be concerned with that anymore. Come on, Barksdale. Load faster, boys. These men are not loading fast. This has got to be the biggest pile of dead men I have seen in this game. 
right, guys. So, so far, Fisher and McCandless are trying to break through, but without much luck. Um, I do see... No, 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 I didn't want him to do that. Who, was, who did that? Who did that? That's bad. Um, we'll go ahead and move Robertson up here to deal with Day, and we'll move Sems up here to take this position. In fact, I can't believe he didn't already. Uh, he's, I believe he's already running, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, and Kershaw is actually spotted Dertrobrian's division. You guys could see these sneaky, sneaky guys down here at the bottom of Round Top uh, trying to get up with these, like, sporadic attacks. Um, really takes our focus off the main battle, but you can see all the Union troops dead there, so we're doing a pretty good job as the Confederacy. Um, playing as General Longstreet, obviously, in this battle. We're really uh, focusing on Longstreet's brigade. You can see I really think he is the star of this battle. He's giving the morale to all these men uh, to hold their positions despite un um, unimaginable losses, really. Um, so we need to keep that in mind. All right, guys, our northern flank is still a bit uh, bit clumsy. I'm going to go ahead and switch all these guys over to canister shot and just deal as much damage as I can to the enemy with this artillery. Really try to annoy them as much as we can. In fact, we'll move over to shell shot um, and we'll move, move, even move right over to engage them. In fact, I don't see why Mahone's not over there, too. Let's move third corps over here to our southern flank. Wilcox, too. Wow. So we have definitely managed to push the enemy back, guys. Um, the, I guess the main position of the enemy uh, defense, really, we really do seem to have them on the defensive. This initially was a defensive for our, for our particular army, um, but it's become a defense for the, uh, for the Union Army, really, for the Federal Army. Uh, we've, we're doing a great counterattack here, and even though they're trying to get up this hill here, you know, the amount of canister shot coming down on them is making it really, really unlikely that they make it up. And uh, not even unlikely, but just, you know, not worth it, really, to lose that many men to take a few artillery pieces. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get Wilcox here into position. Start opening from Brewster. All right, Law's still here. In fact, I'm going to bring Law over here to the right flank and try to still open fire on McCandless. I just think he's got such a good brigade, even with the lack of men. Uh, he could definitely provide some support, uh, fire support here to, to do some damage to the enemy. So let's go ahead and have him target McCandless here. Benning's at 868, so he's not doing very good either. Uh, but so far, it looks like we've got everybody off uh, big round top, at least temporarily. Let's move this artillery division up here. What do you know? Uh, Wolford seems to be kind of just hanging back, and I don't blame him. At this point, I'm almost tempted to go ahead and attempt an assault, but yeah, we can't do that. You can already see us. We're already getting some guys retreating back here, Barksdale, etc. Uh, in fact, Law is holding out longer than Barksdale, despite having way fewer men. Um, I don't know what the Confederate equivalent to the Medal of Honor is, but Law definitely deserves it in this battle. Okay, there we go. So actually, that entire volley only took out one Union guy. You can see that it went from 1210 to 1209, um, and that's because of the lack of men, obviously, in that uh, particular division. Uh, but we can we can fix that. We can bring Wofford up to support these guys. All right, there we go, guys. We've got the Union on the run in the north again. We're going to bring right up and parry, even though these guys are somewhat uh, injured brigades. Still going to continue that attack. And in fact, we are going to push this attack because I can't help myself. The, um, the enemy has gotten themselves into such a huge, giant kind of cluster um, that at this point, I can't help but get close and, and open fire uh, with the hopes of hitting just a number of enemy troops. Um, Mahoney is going to pull back here, so we want to get right into position. Uh, but as long as they can't take that hill, um, and even if they do take this hill with all the artillery on it, we're not going to lose any victory points. Um, so I'm not too concerned. Where is that peach orchard? Uh, the one problem, obviously, is the peach orchard, and I can't find it. It's back here. Um, so if they continue their assault and push us back, they could certainly take that. Uh, but so far, I think we're pretty safe in terms of Little Round Top and Round Top. Let's get Moody up here. Sem, stop! I don't know why these guys insist on charging, um, especially in this close quarters combat like this. Um, it seems that Wilcox is either pulling back or just getting a better sort of vantage point on the enemy troops. And unbelievable. I, I didn't think we could do this in this battle, guys, but we are actually pushing on towards Seminary Ridge, or Cemetery Ridge, excuse me. Um, and it seems like maybe we might be able to take it. Um, or we may at least be able to put up a pretty good fight for it. At this point, I'm going to focus all my fire from Wilcox onto Brewster, because he's opening fire on our position here at uh, Little Round Top, and I do not want that. Um, I do not want that happening. Some of the good news that we just got is General Pender is going to reinforce us, guys. 
Um, basically, the way this particular historical scenario works, uh, if the battle goes on too long, uh, we receive reinforcements. So it definitely helps us to hold our positions, wait for Pender's reinforcements, no matter how many men we lose. Um, and as you can see, with all these divisions down here, it's been a lot of men, uh, without a doubt. All right, we're going to move Anderson up. Just keep that assault. All right, the Union is getting a pretty good line here, and as you can see, they do have the advantage in terms of actual altitude. Um, they're kind of on a very small hill, so we want to be careful. Come on, Sims, start firing. What are you waiting for? A lot of dead are littering the field here. Wow. And uh, as you can see, our line down here, I mean, it's, it's been thinning out for a while now, but now our southern flank is really thinning out. Um, it's like we've also lost entire brigades in this defense. And thankfully, here we go, guys. I believe Pender has come to reinforce us. We're going to get those brigades to run. Yes, to run uh, to Little Round Top. And in fact, I'll get one of these guys to go over here. But we want to get at least one over there immediately. Um, because you can see they're not holding very long. They're not going to be holding very long, I should say. Uh, okay. really just focusing over here for you guys. Uh, this is really, I believe, the most intense part of the battle. You can see all of the dead men on my side, um, just to hold this area. Let's actually get Anderson on a... Uh, yeah, he knows what he's doing. Alright, sometimes the brigades are surprisingly efficient on their own. Um, I'm not sure if it's the game AI made by uh, Game Labs or, uh, or, excuse me, not Game Labs, but Darth Maul. Oh, is it Game? Yes, Game Labs. Sorry, guys. Um, but the AI is magnificent. So we want to go ahead and uh, move these guys over here. We'll move Thomas also to support Perrin's brigade um, at Little Round Top. We'll have him run too. Uh, just have sort of a second line of defense in case the Union breaks through. But if I was a Union general right now, I would not be very happy because not only have they lost a tremendous amount of men, and listen, they've killed a lot of our guys too, um, but they're now going to have to deal with fresh brigades, four or five fresh brigades. So things are not looking good. I want to definitely get right up here quickly. We'll have him run. And hopefully Scales and Lane can engage Carr over here, who's kind of just had his fair share of just the peacetime of the battle. Just sort of a nice peaceful uh, existence, defending a certain certain ridge, which we want desperately. Um, <clears throat> let's see if Benning is ready for some action. I believe he is. Uh, Warford is also ready, so we'll go ahead and try to flank these guys. And yes, I know that I'm messing up my secondary line here by doing this, but I really think if we press the attack here, uh, we're going to do great. And right now we have these guys in a sort of a fish hook position. Uh, in fact, we're going to have them in a sort of a fish hook position. Uh, unfortunately, we have Slocum's brigades. I have no idea where these guys are coming from, and I'm really hoping they're coming from this general direction, because if they're coming from the south, uh, I'm going to need to rethink a lot of stuff. And yes, they are. They're definitely coming from the south. Uh, so we want to be careful here. We'll go ahead and get Perrin set up over here on Little Round Top. We'll get Thomas set up too, uh, because we know that those guys are going to come straight for Little Round Top to try to win the battle. But there we go. We've got Union troops on the run again. Um, I think the cover from the actual forest definitely helps these men not run so quickly. Um, despite the fact that both sides are losing a lot of men. Look at that. Look at that, guys. This is just from continuous Union charges on this, uh, on this northern flank. Um, and since we have the high ground, and every time they sort of run into this uh, bushy area, uh, I guess I'd call it shrubbery, uh, they get stuck because they're at the bottom of a hill, they're at the crest of a hill, and uh, to get up that hill they have to do a lot of running and they just get shot up to bits. So it's definitely a plus for us, not a plus for them by any means. Um, we'll go ahead and move forward here. And let's see where General Longstreet is. He's basically been watching this whole battle. There he is, doing a great job. Look at that morale. Um, the amount of morale he gives in this battle is really awesome, guys. Um, you can see he's got his... The guys under his direct command over here, just in this area, have already killed 3,956 Union men. Um, and here we go. We've already got the Union uh, turning over here to try to attack us on the east. Pretty intelligent, actually. Um, they're going to put all of their men into this attack, so we definitely want to be prepared. Wow, and even another brigade here to reinforce the Yankees. So we have Standard, we've got Lockwood, we've got a lot of things to contend with. Um, I want to try to maybe get Mahone to head down here and even support us even more. 
this point we'll just hold these positions. Uh, I don't want to really engage the enemy. I don't, don't want to go into an assault, I should say. Halt, this is exactly what I was talking about. Um, I want the guys to stay back and just reinforce the hill as much as they can. Um, wow! It just keeps going, doesn't it, guys? Um, we're going to take lane and move up here. And uh, what about Posey? Posey could probably also defend. I'm not sure what the enemy's planning here. They seem to be going very far to the south. Um, is that possibly an all-out offensive on Little Round Top? Maybe. They only have to deal with one division, so it wouldn't be such a bad idea. Let's move back, Benning back. He should have fallen back already. There we go, guys. We've got that northern flank on the run again. Uh, doing a pretty good job up there, although I'm not as concerned about this area. Uh, we could open up on cross, and maybe that'll actually allow us to move Anderson out. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. Uh, we're going to move Anderson to support the guys at Little Round Top. Uh, I think we've got enough guys here that could pretty much hold. In fact, we'll, we'll give one last volley, why not, to Burbank, and then we'll move. There we go. He's definitely on the top of a hill, so we don't have much of an advantage anyway uh, firing at him from down here. Okay, there we go, guys. Lockwood already started his assault, and that was a quick a, a quick uh, route, actually. I think we just had one volley on them, and they pulled back. Um, they must not be too confident about taking a little round top. And wonderful. We've even got Thomas opening up on them, so that's really good news. Uh, Lockwood seems to be in a lot of trouble. Right now, they've got McDougal to rely on, uh, but that's about it. Let's move Benning back. Poor Benning. Let's just getting the hell beat out of him. All right, this is not good. Um, as you guys can see here, we're going to have to do a minor change here. Well, wait a minute. Well, actually, not actually very... Yeah, yeah, pretty much a minor change. We're just going to have to move Anderson up here uh, to hold the northern flank. But uh, you can see that we're losing a lot of guys up here. So let's go ahead and get this guy moving, Mahone. That northern flank is collapsing. I don't... I hate it. I mean, sorry, that southern flank is collapsing. I didn't want to say it, but it certainly looks like that's what's happening. We definitely want to hold these positions. Um, and actually, I will bring Thomas back up here to the north. Um, I think we have enough guys focusing on this area. Or not, or not. I just saw Ruger coming up. Sorry, guys. Uh, maybe we can stay put for now. Wow, look at this massacre. An absolute massacre. I can't wait to see the uh, casualty count at the end of this battle. Um, we're going to go ahead and move up here. All over all of these dead men. See, I am not running, guys. I'm in no rush, really. I'm just moving very calmly. Desperately want the battle to end. I want these men to pull back, decide that they can't have any more of a fight, and uh, just basically hold this area from the Union. Let's go ahead and turn Wofford over here to focus on Kane. See, Longstreet is standing right there. <laughs> Despite all of these dead men around him, he is not afraid. Or not afeared, you're a southerner. Um, go ahead and open fire here with Parent Thomas, too. And it sort of seems like maybe we could take Kershaw to reinforce the north, but I'm going to be really annoyed if they suddenly flank us and show up on Little Round Top unexpected. Um, I don't think that'll happen, though. I think we've got these guys pretty much on the run. Uh, no one really wants to fight on the Union side. They see what's happening to their comrades here, and they don't want that to happen to them. Okay, here we go. Perrin opening up two on Ruger. Ruger will pull back. Wonderful, guys. We could actually... This is sort of a flexible um, a flexible defensive line. The reason I say that is at any point, if we start getting pushed here in the north, we can go ahead and move Perrin and Barksdale up here uh, and move Thomas forward to sort of defend uh, from oncoming Union attacks in the east, um, or the southeast, I should say. Okay, wow. So finally, Lane was made to pull back. Uh, probably took... He probably just went just a little too far, uh, too close to the Union troops. They finally managed to put a pretty good battle line here on Cemetery Ridge, and uh, to give them the credit, they've, they've done a pretty good job at holding that uh, that area of this battle, despite their massive losses in front of it. Um, but I guess you could say the same for my men uh, in front of uh, Little Round Top here. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Wofford is still holding his position. Pretty good. Good news. Uh, we can go ahead and open up on Fisher. Wonderful. Those guys were ready to open up. Um, and as you can see, they are being shielded by these trees, so not that many casualties, but enough to uh, enough to definitely damage them. And actually, no, they're pretty—they're getting pretty good volleys off. My mistake. 
Robertson's coming in for the shots as well. And even Anderson's going to join in on the volley, guys. Wow. I feel bad for Fisher. Let me make sure that these guys these guys are just going to stay put. Uh, we'll move Barksdale back, Perrin back. There's no reason for them to be all the way out here. Uh, we'll get them back to their original positions. And wow, Longstreet finally pulled back. Uh, I guess it was only about time, but um, he did a pretty damn good job. And... Uh, you know, he's still alive. One thing I think they definitely need to add to this game is uh, dead generals, and it should somehow affect the morale of your men for the battle. Um, you know, in the Civil War, there were so many dead uh, unit commanders. Uh, you know, the officer corps in general was decimated um, in many different battles. The Battle of Antietam, for instance. So I think they need to have that to, to really bring that realistic feel um, to the game. Um, and I would love to see one of the generals have like a little skull in place as to where his uh, portrait used to be. I, I just think it would add a real, uh, a real amount of uh, interest to the game, historical interest. Let's go ahead and move here with Wofford. Yeah, well, actually, halt, Wofford. Halt, 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 halt. I don't want you moving anywhere. Uh, we've got you. We've got the enemy right where we want them. Um, and as you can see, where is that guy, Benning? Oh, good old Benning. Benning, Robertson, all of these guys did so damn well this uh, this particular battle. I'm just shocked that they're still around. Um, I think it's definitely true that they made the Confederacy more uh, brave, in the sense that they will stick around more despite taking a really heavy pounding. Um, they will just keep moving, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, we'll go ahead, move lane up here. Let's get the cannons up. And this northern, the northern part of our attack is finally breaking, guys. But like I said before, I don't know if you remember earlier in the battle, my focus was never to take Cemetery Ridge or Cemetery Ridge. My focus was to hold Little Round Top and the Round Top. Um, and so far, we've managed to do that. Uh, so that should bode well for us. Uh, looks like in the east, these Union Brigades don't even have any fight left in them. Uh, it was almost like reinforcements with, with little to no purpose. Uh, with, with this many dead Union troops and just dead troops on both sides, the, the late time of the battle also, um, the men are not really ready for major assaults. Um, certainly no major assaults that could take a victory, a victory point, really. At this point, if I was the Union, what I would try is one desperate charge. Uh, but even if they did a charge and broke Wofford, broke Anderson, broke Barksdale, we'd still have all these guys on top of the hill to watch them. Kershaw has 2,044 men. He's absolutely fresh. Um, a very good general. The same with a Brigadier General William Mahone. So we really did save our best up here on Little Round Top. Um, so even if they had broken through, I think we would have been able to hold them. But the battle was definitely touch and go for, for quite a while here. And it's not over yet. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm wondering if maybe if I don't take Cemetery Ridge, I lose anyway. Um, we'll soon find out. Maybe I have to take all of the victory locations. Let's just take a look here. Without a doubt, just every battle gets more and more bloody in this game. And I think with each update, I like that, that they add more bodies to, uh, to, the, to the actual aftermath of the battle. And you can see here, just both sides took a beating. Uh, so many men, thousands of dead men, really. Thousands. Um, and uh, just a, a really rough battle for both sides. Uh, this would definitely be the final day of the Battle of Gettysburg, no doubt. I, I don't see either army uh, fighting very soon after this battle. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open up on Kane. On Bark Steel, 803 versus 626, 624. Wow, nice. Let's see, oh, Kane did a pretty good volley back to us. Um, and I think he's actually going to make Bark Steel run. He, he really got a good shot off. Um, I think the, unions, the Union troops definitely have better uh, accuracy now, that may just be an assumption it may go from general to general you know depending on their rank uh, but I have noticed that um, in actual volleys it does seem that more Confederates drop than Union troops in most instances um, we'll go ahead and start opening fire on Graham there's no reason why we can't put Wilcox to good use let's just take a look at all the Confederate defenders that made this uh, this battle possible really you just take a look over here Robertson's division Robertson has been unbelievable uh, 390 and still going um, eventually this artillery charge, I mean, sorry, this uh, artillery barrage is going to break him uh, because you can't, you just can't stick around a battle with that many men. Although Kane is still uh, holding off, and actually Kane just made Barksdale run, so I think that's kind of funny. Uh, let's see, can we, should we move Mahone up at this point? I, I don't see why. Uh, we should probably just keep our, keep our positions now and wait for the battle to end, really. I don't know why the Union didn't take a lot of these brigades and try to do a, an assault on Little Round Top. I mean, personally, if I were the, I were the Union, I would have taken this entire group of men and just done immediately turned my attention over here to the south. 
Although I guess it is a bit impractical. There's a lot of stuff in the way. There's a Devil's Den. There's a lot of homes, a lot of wood. So it would have probably taken a very long time, and I think the enemy would have had to plan for it. Um, so that did not happen. Although interesting, right here at the towards the end of the battle, when the battle is about to end, um, the enemy is finally trying to make a push. And there we go, guys. We have the end of the battle there. Confederate flank Union left at Devil's Den. Uh, it was a minor victory um, as the Confederates, so not the major victory we we got we, we were hoping for. Excuse me. And I'm hope I'm thinking that that's probably because of the fact that we lost more men. Nine thousand five hundred seventy-one. The enemy lost eight thousand eight hundred and fifteen. Either way you look at it, an absolutely bloody battle, but I really think this shows the uh, ability of General Longstreet to rally his men and push forward and get that victory. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, make sure to post on the comments below, like this video, and uh, share with your friends. Have an awesome day.